Hi guys and welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at grade 10 maths functions, hyperbola graph interpretation. But at the same time, I'm going to show you how to sketch this hyperbola as well. So some basic theory about hyperbola. Given f of x equals to minus 6x plus 3, minus 6 over x plus 3, so minus 6 over x plus 3. So hyperbolic function now, you see, if a is negative, See, this is the same as saying minus 6 over x, right? And then the plus 3, I'll come to that now. If a is negative, a is less than 0. What does that mean? It means that my hyperbola is going to be drawn in the second and the fourth quadrants. Okay, so if a is negative, that means that your graph is going to be drawn. See, that's first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. So it's going to be drawn in the second and the fourth quadrant. That's number one. Number two, you see this part over here now, plus three. This plus three part over here, this is an asymptote. Asymptote is a line that your function goes close to but does not touch. Now the hyperbola got two asymptotes. See this one over here, one asymptote is going to be x equals to zero, the other one is going to be y equals to three. So x equals to zero and y equals to three are the equations of your asymptotes for this question here. Right. So if you look at the graph now, you'll be able to see everything I told you. A is negative, so your function is drawn in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. The next thing I told you was that your asymptote is going to be x equals to 0. So x equals to 0 is the y-axis, right? So you can see your graphs are not touching this y-axis, okay? So one thing that you must learn is that the y-axis is x equals to 0. The other thing is that, see this here, see this asymptote y equals to 3. Now y equals to 3 is a horizontal line, so y equals to 3, that's your other asymptote. See your graph goes close to it but doesn't touch. If you was to sketch this graph in a calculator, see you can use the XC calculator mode, see table 5, uh, 7 rather. So you put 7, so you can put here minus 6 over x plus 3 equals let's just go from let's say minus 3 let's go from minus 3 to 3 right so we're starting and then we're going to end at 3 and then our step will be 1 you can see now minus 3 and 5 minus 2 and 6 minus 1 and 9 Right, you can see all this here. So if you have to put your functions here, see? Minus 1, 9, minus 2, minus 3. See all this here. And if you have to look here, see what's the 0 and error means that at 0 you're going to get an asymptote. 1 and minus 3. See a 1 and minus 3 maybe somewhere there, right? And then 2 and 0. See that one now is your, what's that one there? That's your x-intercept, so that's going to be 2 and 0. And then here you've got c3 and 1, 3 and 1 maybe somewhere there. Right, so that's if you are sketching the graph now, you'll put in your asymptotes, right? See, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, that will be 1, that will be 2 and 3 and so on, right? So, your theory is very important. Make sure you understand your theory. Then they said now they want here the lens of OA, OB, and AB. Now, lens is basically, see, from O to A is going to be this here, from your origin, that 0, 0 to A. We know that A here is going to be what? 0 and 3. See, because it lies on this asymptote here. So, OA is going to be 3 units. OB, OB is going to be 2 units. Because that's the x intercept. See, from your origin to there. The distance will be two units. Distance there will be three units. And then A, B, A, B will be the distance from there to there, right? That we can use what we got here. You can say three and two. You can use Pythagoras there, right? So for A, B squared, right? You can use Pythagoras. You could say three squared plus two squared. Pythagoras, let's use a calculator again there. 
So we'll say 3 squared plus 2 squared. Remember, we're finding hypotenuse, so you're going to find the sum of the squares. So it's going to be 3 squared plus 2 squared equals 13. Therefore, AB is square root of 13. Right, so AB is root 13. If you want decimals, you just press this button here. Uh, what's that there? 13. So the square root of the answer equals to root 13, 3,6 units. Okay, so that's 3.6 units, that's 3 units, and that's 2 units, right? Now they want the equation of the lines of symmetry. Now the equations of the lines of symmetry for hyperbola in this form is y equals to plus minus x plus q. So the lines of symmetry there now for this question here, yeah, 2.2. 2.2 will be y equals to x plus 3, y equals to minus x plus 3. Okay, so those will be your two lines of symmetry. Remember your lines of symmetry are going to go through this part here. Okay, so you'll get one line that will go up there. So it'll be what that will be. Uh, you get one line, there will be 3, and then you get x equals to 3. So that x may be there somewhere. Right, so one line will look something like that, 3 and 3. And that's the one now with a negative gradient. And the one with a positive gradient will be there and maybe there somewhere. Right, My, if that was minus 3, so it'll go up like that. Right, so those will be your two axes of symmetries. Okay, now the equation of g of x if g of x is the reflection about the x axis. So for x-axis reflection, if, if you're going to have x-axis reflection, that means y is going to equal to minus f of x. The rule is x, y becomes x and minus y. So that's a transformation rule. Okay. So therefore now, all you're going to do is just substitute. So you say minus into minus 6 over x plus 3. So that'll be minus 6 over x plus 3. So that'll be minus minus 6 plus. So that'll be 6 over x. And then minus times plus 3 is minus 3. Right? So that's going to be the transformed graph now. Okay? So that'll be minus minus is plus, And that's going to be minus. Now, for y-axis reflection, y-axis reflection, the rule is as follows y equals to f of minus x see the rule transformation geometry x y becomes minus x and y so what's going to happen are you just going to look at that so you're going to get equals to see there's your function there so it's going to be minus and then you've got uh, minus 6 over minus x there right plus 3. So if you got x, just put minus. Right? So what's going to happen now? Minus over minus is plus, so that'll be 6 over x plus 3. So y equals to 6 over x plus 3. Just follow the rules. Do your substitution, follow the rules. It'll be fairly straightforward there. So just a quick recap. Remember, hyperbola, know your theory. Right? See, so yeah, if a is less than 0, okay? a is less than 0, it's negative over there. Right, so it's going to be drawn, your graph is going to be drawn in the second and the fourth quadrant. So I forgot to tell you that this function will be increasing. It will be an increasing function, why? As x increases, y increases, right? Let's do the simple definition of an increasing function. As x goes up, y goes up. So it's going to be an increasing function. Okay, learn your theory, go over everything. And guys, I will catch you in the next video.